Today I'm going to introduce you to the Magnum Reflector Light Modifier, plus I'll show you how I use it to create hard light portrait and fashion images. I'm Lindsay Adler and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York. A Magnum Reflector is a hard light modifier that creates bright and crisp illumination on your subject. I've found that it is a great choice if you want to chisel out your subject's features, achieve a vintage hard light effect, or create the look of sunshine in the studio. Many photographers shy away from hard light because it can be unflattering on the skin. I get that, but if you use it correctly, it can produce outstanding results. While the concepts that I'm going to be demoing apply to any Magnum Reflector, today I'll be using my Profoto Magnum Reflector, which has a couple bonus features. The Profoto Magnum Reflector allows you to zoom the modifier on the head, so actually moving it back and forth, and this affects the overall spread and focus of the beam of light. This is a nice feature that gives you additional control over the light in the scene. When using a Magnum Reflector, the way that it concentrates the light really creates very, very bright results. So if you take a strobe at the exact same power, one with a zoom reflector and another with a Magnum Reflector, the Magnum Reflector has one stop brighter light. Now this isn't inherently good or bad, but it can be useful if you need the extra output, like if you're balancing with the sun. A Magnum Reflector also has accessories like a grid or a sock and this changes the spread or the quality of light. While there is technically no right or wrong way to use a modifier, I'm going to show you three instances where I reach for my Magnum Reflector. Because the Magnum Reflector is a hard light modifier, it creates more sunny quality of light. There are brighter specular highlights, more defined shadow edges, much like the sun. And if you want that light to be even harder, move the strobe further away from your subject. In this instance, I'm using a Magnum Reflector in a summary beauty editorial in order to emulate the look of sunlight. The quality of light created by a Magnum Reflector is great for emphasizing and carving out a subject's features because it has more defined shadow edges. So if I really want to emphasize the cheekbones and the jawline, I use a Magnum Reflector, but at a slightly higher angle for more dramatic results. Here it's creating drama, luxury, and really flatters our subject. If you look at the behind the scenes of some vintage photographs, you'll see that photographers used modifiers that were shaped a lot like a Magnum Reflector, but they used a layer of diffusion on the front. So to achieve this old style portrait, I'm going to use a Magnum Reflector and a sock to even out some of the specular highlights. So next I convert the image to black and white, overexpose the highlights, and I get this porcelain skin effect. While a Magnum Reflector is not as common to photographers, say, as a softbox or beauty dish, it can be a great addition to your studio kit if you're looking to play around with hard light, or maybe create the look of sun or a vintage style portrait. If you want to see the gear used in this video, check out the links below or visit adorama.com for more. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. See you next time.